What's up, you guys? It's Ness. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about seven things that you should or shouldn't be doing before you shoot as a model. I feel like this video was so necessary because a lot of times models show up to shoots and I just be like, why did you show up like this? But I don't say that, but that's how I be feeling. So I just thought I'd make a video to talk about it beforehand. Here I have my phone. You feel me? I've compiled a nice little list for you guys. So let's go through it. Seven things. Let's talk about it. So number one on my list is get your nails and feet done before the shoot. There's no reason why you should be coming to the shoot looking like you pick up your clothes with your feet you climb trees for a living, any of that, you feel me? No claws of any kind should be incorporated in the shoot, unless that's what y'all going for, you know what I'm saying? And more than likely, there'll be props. But yeah, you shouldn't expect the photographer to also be a graphic designer and give you fill-ins, uh, deal with chip nail polish, any of that. Just make sure you get your claws done before you come to the shoot. So that, that's number one, all right, all right. So number two on my list is get waxed. That means your upper lip, your lower lip, your bottom lip, your back, your neck, your armpits, your eyebrows, whatever you need to get waxed and get situated before the shoot, you should get that situated before the shoot. And your armpits, you feel me? I don't wanna have to Photoshop your armpits. For the most part, I don't wanna have to sit there trying to remove a whole chunk of your hair out of the photo. Glad we have an understanding here. Number three, do not show up drunk, buzzed, or high. Like, I don't even know why I have to say that. Just come in your right mind. Yes, you may be nervous, but let the icebreakers happen naturally. You don't need a substance to get you loose or to make you feel any more ready than you are ready, aren't or are. And then on top of that, it will show in your photos. You get what I'm saying? Like if you are high or drunk or whatever you are or buzz or whatever, it will show in your photos. Your eyes will be lower. They'll be a little bit glossier. Your, what is it? Cornea, retina, iris, whatever it is. I'm not an eye doctor, but just come in your right mind at all times. And more than likely, if you're under the the influence of anything you'll just be talking about a bunch of shit that oftentimes they're not that I don't care and I'm pretty sure a lot of other professionals don't care about like talking about so number four do not show up with random people to the shoot ask first at all times when you're showing up to a professional setting you wouldn't bring your best friend to your job so don't bring your best friend to the shoot you're paying good money to have some professional photos of yourself taken I don't need anybody being a peanut gallery trying to tell you what to do and they don't know what the you talking about you get what i'm saying you are going to have company for safe safety reasons or purposes make sure that you tell your company hey when we go here shut up it sounds crazy it might sound rude i'm telling you exactly how it needs to be said because a lot of times when you sugarcoat shit it doesn't the, the message doesn't come across proper i hope you read me loud and clear on that one number five use your time wisely you shouldn't be arriving to your shoot late or showing up trying to put the final touches together this is so crucial to you having a good shoot. Using your time wisely, um, just planning everything out, mapping everything out. If it takes X amount of hours for, or X amount of time for you to get yourself together or even get here and you're running down that time, I, as a professional, do not have to give you more time. If I do do that, that is off the arm, that is off the muscle, that is off the strength. I don't have to do that. Nobody has to do that for you. You have to be on time though. You shouldn't be getting here trying to be like, hold on, let me put these lashes on. Not only does that not work, but whatever you're trying to apply more than likely won't look good because you're rushing to do it. So make sure you have X amount of time to do everything that you need to do. Time management is very important. Use your time wisely and be cognizant of other people's time. All right? All right. Number six, do not show up to your shoot with big lashes and lace fronts. I'm gonna be completely honest and blunt and tell you, a lot of that shit doesn't look good. If you wear big lashes and lace fronts, a lot of times shadows will be cast and a lot of times you'll have bags and those bags will look baggier and they won't be designer. You feel what I'm saying? I would just highly advise not wearing big lashes and lace fronts. Oh, let me get to the lace fronts. I didn't even explain the lace fronts. The lace fronts don't look good because when you're shooting um, with professionals and they're using these high-end cameras, I can see every single detail. And a lot of times that is real, that's a lot of work to retouch. Not only just for me, but for a retoucher if I'm using a retoucher at that time. Um, so it would just behoove you to think about that stuff before you shoot because um, it will play a major factor in how your photos come out. And one thing that you will end up regretting is, damn, I, I wish I didn't wear that stuff or I wish I didn't have that on during that shoot. So just, you know, keep it very simple and very minimalistic and try to be as natural as possible. Um, I know we live in a day and age where natural, like, is hard for a lot of people to pull off, but trust me, you will appreciate yourself more. You will appreciate the final retouches and the final images more if you don't have all that stuff on. So uh, that's that on that. And finally, number seven, practice some poses before arriving to your shoot. Nobody knows your best sides and angles better than you. Practice your poses before you come to the shoot. Prior to your shoot, you should be pulling up poses. You should be doing your research on 
how to pose and stuff like that, just how to use your hands and your feet. Those are the two things that people do not know how to use when they pose and don't even understand that it's very important when you pose. Your feet and your hands, that's gonna be a whole nother video. You wanna at least practice before you get here because when I put the mirror in front of you and I start shooting, I don't want to talk that much. I don't want to have to be telling you like, okay, yeah, do this, do this, da 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 da. It's not it. You have to know what you like and what you want and how you wanna look. And you have to be able to present that so that way I can capture it in the best light possible. So that's about it for my video. I hope you guys, you know, took something away from this. Uh, you listen to all of these tips and I promise you, whoever you work with will greatly appreciate you and it will make your photos come out 10 times better. I'm not trying to talk too much more. I, I really don't have that much more to say. Uh, just remember to comment like and subscribe if you don't like this video make sure you hit the dislike button two times and then you make sure you hit the like button all right because you know what i'm saying just just do it also if you want to add on to anything that i have to say or if you want me to elaborate more on another topic um please feel free to leave it in the comments below and i'm definitely going to talk about it you know what i'm saying uh it's one thing i know how to do is talk about some shit so uh that's about it you know what i mean finesse shots out and um i appreciate all of you guys so